Hello, Christopher Grant. Are you Hello. ready for an adventure? Oh, I did not wear my adventuring clothes, um, um, so this might be uncomfortable, but sure. That's all right. We're going to make it work. This is Little Big Planet 3. It's finally here. Little Big Planet for the PlayStation 4. Um, we're entering into uh, an area now called Bunkum Lagoon. Uh, you're seeing right here, focus on multiplayer yet again, which means when you enter into an area, if there's people playing it, it'll just say, like, do you just want to jump into these people's... Do you just want to join them? Do you just want to go in their game? It's such a crazy... Uh, it's still like a, a, a pivot for Sony that I'm not used to, which is that they spent a whole generation getting multiplayer really wrong. Yeah, and, it's... Uh, it's kind of doing a bad job of it. It's pretty... This, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy in yeah. this. Uh, you can see I'm dressed as a cute little... I'm Sackboy, but I'm dressed as a cute little teddy bear. Um... So that, that, that area we were just in, uh, that very short area, there are these hub hub zones, essentially. Um, and you get to explore those and find collectibles and then find egg, uh, entrances to new levels, um, which is what I jumped into here. Uh, this is in the, the main story mode. Um, the story of this game is uh, you're... You know, they announced three new characters, right? At, a, at E3. It's not just Sackboy this time. Um, but the story mode is you're actually hunting down those three new characters. So you've got to, uh, as Sackboy, find them and, uh, and wake them up and get them to, uh, join you on your adventure. Ah, uh, yes, the, the rich, deep lore of the Little Big Planet world. There's probably a wiki out there that, that has this covered in depth. Mm. Um, so th we're playing a Sackboy level here, but I wanted to show off one of the new things that makes Sackboy a little bit more interesting, which is, uh they give you different tools now um, and they have this thing called your sack pocket that you can uh, open up at any point and equip a different uh, any tool that you want in this case I'm using the uh, the boost boots that I just got um, and these allow me to uh, to do a little like rocket jump in midair which is pretty rad uh, what's your what's your take on the whole little big planet series what's your I, uh, I I didn't get into one very much I just didn't like it uh, two. I spent a lot more time with. Um, and is it that that in two they they kind of fixed up the uh, the platforming a little more? It's mostly that it didn't feel like hot garbage. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And, and I don't think it felt great. You know, I don't think I don't think the controls are what Little Big Planet is is you know appealing to in players. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> some of it was I was a, it was more intuitive. I think the level designs were much better. It felt better. I think a lot of my aversion to the first one was simply like, like quite like quite simply and quite mechanically touching it didn't feel good. Sure. Um, and so if you weren't really into the aesthetic, if you weren't really into making your own levels and stuff, it just didn't have it there for me. You know, it's like the ninety nine percent, the one percent. Like, I'm, I'm the ninety nine percent. I want to play it. I don't want to make levels. Yeah. Maybe I, I'll download some levels. I completely. I'm I'm in that same group. Um, what I will say, what's interesting about Little Big Planet 3, so they add three new characters. Um, what's interesting is each of those characters control completely different than how Sackboy controls. Uh, so you've got Sackboy who still feels like like Sackboy has always felt. Um, it's it's a little floaty. A little floaty, yeah. He's not not very precise. Um, it's not as you said. It's 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 kind of like it is in Little Big Planet 2. It's not it's not um, terrible in the way that I think a lot of people thought it was like yourself in the first game uh, but it's not it doesn't feel great it doesn't feel like great platforming mechanics uh, but then they have like odd sock who actually has the ability to wall jump and uh, and jump off of things um, and run really fast and then they have toggle um, who's the the bigger one um, who actually does like physics based puzzles um, and then they have swoop who does like flying and hovering um, so it's like they're hitting all the bases of platformers. It's like all the different kinds of platformers are covered, but with different characters. Um, and they and all have their the own naming, own mechanics. Uh, the names sound like leftovers from Burger King Kids Club. Kind of, a little you bit. Know, a little bit. Got, got Swoop. Got a... Uh... Uh, so what I'm showing off here, and this is really interesting, I think, particularly for people like you and I, who maybe haven't done a lot of their create stuff. Um... They have what's called contraption challenges, um, and these are basically little mini levels um, where it's going to say, it's going to give you a specific set of tools and say, build something to accomplish this. 
Um, it sort of reminds me of the... Was that a Banjo-Kazooie game on the 360? Nuts and Bolts. Nuts and Bolts. Yes. It reminds me of that. Um, because you're, it's, you know, they're usually vehicle-based. So in this case, I'm building a vehicle to try and... I'm going to take this jump off of a ramp, and I want to try and get as far as I possibly can. This is actually really interesting, right? Because this is like mapping all this work that they put into the creation tools mm -hmm. to actually build and kind of make those things and putting it into the game. I think Nuts and Bolts is a good analogy there because a lot of the actual game of Nuts and Bolts was building and making this stuff. And and that's not actually a lot of the game of Little Big Planet. Yeah, and they, so they have a couple of other new things that, that build on that as well that I will show off a little bit later. But let's take this uh, uh, fishbone car for a ride. Let's see how this goes. Um, as you're mapping it, you actually set, like, you know, you can set what the different buttons do, so you can set the, like, the wheels to, like, press this button to make the wheels spin. Oh, my wheels just flew off. Everything flew off. Uh, that wasn't, that wasn't great. I think I could do better. So I'm gonna try and do better. My, my advice? Mm hmm I don't know if I've ever seen a car made out of fish bones that's, um, that's, that's gone off a jump really well before. How about, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw this out there, how about a car made out of a banana? I definitely think, a ban now you're getting closer to an Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, <laughs> and I think that could take a, a sick jump. It's got so, close, it's got that, the, the shape is almost there. It's aerodynamic, you know, I think for sure. And what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna actually put on a flipper and a flapper, both. Um, and I, th I think that'll help me. I don't really understand what flippers or flappers do, but it seems like it will help. Mr. One Percenter over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I, I want all of it. Put all of the all the best features on, whatever. All right, this I'm feeling really good yeah, about. This seems like it's going to be great. All right, oh, flipping and flapping. Getting, look at that. Look sick at air. That. Are we, you know what? It's not perfect. I didn't win, per se, but we did better. I'm happy about that. Uh, one thing that, that I think you'll be noticing as I, as I show off the different parts of the game. Remember at E3 when they announced this? And there were a bunch of, you know, they, like I said, they announced three different characters. And they showed off a level where you're playing as all four characters. Or, or you had all four characters controlled by different char different uh, players, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this, this is uh, this is Swoop the Bird, who I just dressed up as a cute little dragon. Um, so I'm going to show off some of the Swoop gameplay here. But you don't actually... So that level that they showed at E3, there aren't actually very many levels in the game that allow you in co-op to play as all the characters. Hmm. Um, normally what happens... So if you joined me in co-op for this level right now, you would also be playing as Swoop. So yeah, from a from a level design perspective, you know, if you have a level that's really built for Sackboy and you could just fly through it, yeah, it would you know it wouldn't work. So yeah, I, I, I mean I think on stage it probably shows better to show all four, but I, I can imagine that being really hard to yeah to make I, good gameplay. I get from a level design perspective why they did that. It totally makes sense. I still was kind of bummed out by it though. Um, well, it's all, it's like you know I think showing that on stage is is a kind of obvious point which is that 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 is more exciting yeah you know to to have it, four different characters with different with different skills but. yeah it feels more exciting but it also and and maybe i'm overreacting here uh but it, it feels a little bit to me like false advertisement you don't expect yeah well i mean that's the you, I, I would say it's not you false if you can do it sure right? sure it's just a question of like how much you can do it and, and maybe misleading yeah like um, if you go look on the the official little big planet 3 page on, on, you know, the PlayStation site, all of the screenshots are levels where it's all four characters together. And it's just like, there are... I, I only discovered one level, and I think there are maybe two or three others hidden. And they're all hidden. They're not in the main path at all. Um, hmm. So, like, that just doesn't really happen in the game. That's actually super weird that they would hide that, because, like, as long as you've only got a couple, like, you think you'd probably yeah. want to put them on a pedestal. Yeah, they're, they're super hidden. Like, you have to go back to some of the hub worlds later on when you've got more powers and, like, discover them that way. So, so you know what I really like about Little Big Planet? I like the, the goo-gahs and the baubles. I like mm -hmm. collecting all that stuff. And um, 
you know, it's like coins or rings, but they have like this satisfying little pop when you get them. Oh yeah. And you also know that every time you're getting something, you're you're actually getting a thing. It's you know, you're getting like a thing. It's a thing where it's like, even though I know that I'm never gonna use these stickers, it's just like yep. I want to get. Yeah, I gotta get all of them. Uh, so this guy in the back who's throwing explosives at me, this is the uh, the antagonist of the game, Newton, uh, who is actually voiced by Hugh Laurie. Um, hmm. Very good interesting. voice acting for him. Well, you've also got uh, you've got Hugh Laurie's pal uh, uh, doing the kind of little big planet narrator, um, whose name I just spaced on. Oh my god, me too. But I know what you're talking. He's been the narrator since the start. Yeah, and they had a TV show on BBC called something in Laurie. Uh, yeah. Come on, Grant, really? I'm gonna look at my phone while you play. <laughs> yeah, you, you look at your phone. I'll, I'll keep this uh, going on. Uh, Cover for me, Phil. So this is, yeah, this is the swoop. Um, the the most interesting thing with swoop is that you can actually press the, uh, I think it's the R1 button at any point, and he swoops down, and it kind of allows you, like I'm doing here, to just do a really smooth thing, but then I went into a wall because I suck. Um, so of course one of the big things with the Little Big Planet, community created stuff, user created stuff, so I wanted to uh, take a look at some of the user created content. Um, I got it. Stephen Fry. Oh, well, that's, that's it. That's it. Uh, so this is a, let's, let's jump into a few user created levels and see what's possible in, uh, in Little Big Planet 3. Um, one of the things I noticed from playing, uh, so they, they actually have allowed, uh, which is kind of amazing, you can play all of the levels that were user created in Little Big Planet 1 and 2 in, in LBP3, even if you're playing on PS4, oh, wow. which is pretty impressive. Really? Um, we should download Griffin McElroy's level his, from Little Big Planet 2. His masterpiece? It's, I'm not even kidding, it's incredible. Uh, uh so here, this is a little, like, puzzle level that I'm not very good at. Uh... This is toggle, by the way. Um, so if I press the uh, the R1 button, it's going to switch these guys between big and small. Um, the but so it's impressive that you can go back and play all these old ones, right? The the problem that uh, that I ran into is that you can kind of tell that some of the old levels weren't designed with Little Big Planet 3's uh, 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 abilities in mind. Um, so for example, one of the big changes with Little Big Planet 3 for create mode, uh, previously you could have, it's like three, three or four layers, right, to a level. Um, in Little Big Planet 3 you can have 16 layers. Um, yeah, so the, that makes sense. the layers you can move between, uh, between like front and back. Um, oh, here's a really cool one where I get to drive this awesome vehicle that transforms into a car. It's a boat that transforms into a car. Um, uh, so I played a lot of uh, a lot of the user created levels. I played. Uh, I would find myself getting stuck in layers in the background that weren't supposed to be able, like you weren't supposed to be able to walk in those layers. Hmm. So like they just hadn't uh, that just hadn't been taken into account for some reason in how the levels were carried over. Um, I don't know if that's something that can be patched or if it's just going to be broken forever. Look at this rad boat car. Nope, it's a boat. I died. Well, I'm gonna go swim back over there. Actually, check out this ice cream truck, I guess. And then I'm gonna swim back over there. Oh yeah, you can swim in this so one also. Can you use any of your outfits? From previous games, if I bought I yeah, know, so let's say, so theoretically, apparently a solid snake outfit. You can you go into the game. Uh, there in the options menu, you can just click this button that carries over everything you've unlocked from previous games. Um, so about purchases though, like DLC. So my understanding, and I didn't, you know, I I don't have a lot of the old DLC from a uh, Little Big Planet one and two, so I could be incorrect on this. But my understanding is that all DLC carries over, like all the DLC outfits. That's pretty cool. It's cool. It's a uh, you know what like whatever issues I had with the game, and I certainly have some. It's it's really impressive that they've gone and and stuck with that backwards compatibility. Uh, so let's yeah, I mean they're doing fan service right. You know, if you're let's asking your community here. to make levels, what? make sure that those make sure that that time investment Grant, is 
is being paid forward, you know? Grant, what do you think this Eminem Not Afraid Street concert is? Uh, it's... Look, it's probably... Yeah, here we go. Uh, so, we got... Steve. We got a really... <laughs> really bad, really low quality recording of Eminem playing. Um, th there's, yep, okay. And let's get on stage. Oh, there he saw is. Good vine, saw a good vine the other day about oh. trail mix. Uh, and it was a it was a, a mix, you know, for listening to on your headphones while you're on a trail, because it had Eminem in it. Get it? Trail oh, mix. That's, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. Let's maybe grab this car. I think that's Eminem's car? Jack this ride. I don't know, but I just wrecked it, I think. Oof. Uh, <laughs> so, so, you know, the user-created stuff, they're still... You take the, the, the good with the bad, right? I mean, I'm kind of like... I, I, I would put this on the oh, good Oh, this is... Uh, absolutely. This is on the, the great side. Um... All right, what, uh, you know, a couple, a couple more things. I want to show off co-op mode. So here I am. Uh, would you believe it? I'm actually jumping in uh, with um, former Polygon editor Alexa Ray Korea here. Um, she betrayed us. She is, uh, she is an eternal enemy of Polygon. Is this the part where you just, where you just grief her <laughs> the whole game? Kind of. <laughs> uh, but what we're showing off here is, so this is actually really cool. Um, you know, as I said, they're, they're kind of mixing together the create, create mode and the gameplay a little bit more. Uh, they have this whole mode um, where instead of just regular create tutorials, they're, they're whole levels that uh, you play through and you solve these puzzles by using the creation stuff. Um, and it kind of teaches you to use different blocks, it teaches you how to create background elements, it teaches you how to do everything. Um, and it's a really long, really lengthy, really complex mode, so it's, uh, it's really, uh, I think if you want to learn how to use the create tools, this is a better way to do it than they have ever had. So, uh, one of my big questions, this is the first Little Big Planet game, um, I think that's correct. Not by Media Molecule. Yeah, that I think is Media correct. Media Molecule did. They they even did Little Big Planet Vita, right? So I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, I think there was was there a PSP Little Big Planet that maybe wasn't done by them. Mm, that might be right. Um, I feel like one of the portables they did not do. Yeah, and I mean, like, as far as the console goes and, and the numbered series, this is not by Media Molecule. This is by um, Sumo Digital. Sumo Digital, um, another UK based developer. Uh, does it feel different? Does it? You know, how's the production quality? Is it? Is it buggy? Uh, there were definitely some bugs, and, and we're gonna show that. Um, I've got a, a big one coming up uh, to end the video with. Um, Good big finale. Yeah, end on a end on a high note. Um, so there's definitely there's definitely some bugs. There's some issues. Uh, I would say, generally, in terms of like the single player levels, the the production value stays really high though. Outside of a uh, outside of the handful of bugs that I ran into, um, it's uh, like the levels are really well done, and uh, and they're really like as you can see here. So we're in one of the single player levels here. Um, it's such a cool environment. It looks great. Um, the way that the camera moves in and out of the, the everything is great. This character is really fun. Um, it's got really really fantastic music choices as you would expect from a Little Big Planet game. <coughs> so on those levels, um, it's all it's all like if you would if you were to show me this level, if they were to announce Little Big Planet three and they showed this level, I would absolutely believe that this is a Media Molecule design level. Um, except for that, there, I, I s sunk into the background by accident there. <laughs> I just did a check. So Little Big Planet uh, uh, PSP was done by uh, Sony Computer Entertainment Cambridge in conjunction with Media Molecule. And then Little Big Planet Vita was done by Double Eleven, Tarsier Studios, and Sony XDev Europe. Okay, so and Sony of... Sony XDev worked with uh, Sumo Digital on this as well. Okay. So Sumo Digital definitely had had some help there from people who have had previous work in the series. Um, 
I, I did run into some weird issues too where playing a uh, online multiplayer there were def there's definitely moments of lag and stuff as well um, you don't get to see any of that here but um, that's definitely a problem I ran into it's always hard to tell if that's game specific or if that's just PSN since PSN's been really messed up as of late um, so who knows and of course uh, they also did the thing that everyone's doing nowadays where Along with the review game, they mentioned that there's a big day one patch coming. So, yeah, that is um, that's uh, that's increasingly common. I mean, it wasn't uncommon so last generation, but this generation it seems mandatory. Here we go. Uh, we're about to close off the video, um, and here we go. We just didn't respawn. Hmm. We just both died and didn't respawn. Um, just hanging out, listening to rock music. And uh, there's there's Mr. Destructo in the background. Yeah, they're just dancing. That's that's little big planet. There it is. Uh, I think Alexa lets me know here. This is a bug. And this is my response. Little big planet three. <laughs>